Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be playing with these Arteza products and seeing if these are still among some of my favorite products from Arteza. This is a kit. I think it gives you everything you need to do well and really like these brush pens and have a lot of fun with them. Uh, it comes with a little plastic container that you can keep the brush pens in as well as the 48 brush pens. It comes with six different sized water brushes and these uh, over here are my favorite all-time brush pens especially the three smallest sizes. These are my favorites. It also comes with two packs of the cotton paper and this is 100% cotton paper and it comes with 14 sheets and that is the Expert. By far my favorite paper from Arteza and it's uh, got it's cold press so it has some texture and it works really good with these brush pens. So you get to, I've already opened some of this because I've started playing with it. One thing I love that they've changed is they've changed the packaging. This is a cardboard case that could be recycled it looks like. So I have all of my brush pens and a little caddy now for the, all the colors. And so this is the six brushes it comes with. Uh, three of them are my favorite brush pens. I especially like this medium. I wish they sold this medium one separately. I would get six of those. And one reason I love these is all you do is twist this and open it and it's ready to fill. You fill it under the faucet and then you twist it back and then it has a push button so you can, when you'd like more water to come out, you just push the button and more water comes out. I've already taken my Waffle Flower color swatches stamp and I stamped them off and I just used the Gina K Amalgam ink. This is my favorite ink because you can get a really nice impression. You can use it as dark or light as you like and then it doesn't stain your stamp. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my water brush and put some water wherever I'm going to want these to go. And I'm going to leave dry where I don't want it to go. Just like you would with watercolors if you're going to do wet on wet. Now I'm going to go ahead and start going in and I'm going to start adding some of those kind of brush strokes just really lightly. And the water in the, the paper is a little wet, so it's kind of um, moving the ink for me. And then I'll use my brush to get it going even more. And just adding the water first just keeps it where I'm getting a real light um, kind of a base coat. Now I'm going to put on some music and let you watch me color and create and try new things with these brush pens as well as some watercolor pencils, gouache, and some stencils instead of drawing. If you can't draw you can trace a stencil. And I'm just going to play some music and let you watch me color and create. I just hope you can use this as inspiration. What I love about using these products is that since they're inexpensive, I can really just get creative and I don't have to worry if I mess it all up. I most of the time do, but it just lets you, it gives you the excuse to experiment and play and have fun. So I hope you enjoy watching and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <music> 